Cobra. Hello, King Cobra JFS. Is that the <laughs> hello? <laughs> and uh, I thought I'd give Gothic D a shout out. She's a YouTuber who only has 422 subscribers. Hey guys, my name is Sophie Static, but you may remember me as Raven. I am a friend of D, and I'm here to talk to you all about uh, the Gothic D saga with King Cobra JFS. I fit into this because she came to me for support in battling the trolls and the fans of King Cobra. At this time in 2018 though, D was a uh, small YouTuber and she lives in South Wales of the UK. I believe at the time she also identified as bisexual but I don't know how true this fact is as of present time. Growing up Dee had a lot of hardships, body dysmorphia issues, mental health issues and she expressed that she struggled a lot with being overweight as a young girl. Dee also has Asperger's syndrome which is not something that a lot of people know but it's also a similarity that she shares with Josh. In early 2016 um, Dee actually went from looking normal I guess you could say to then fully like dressing and living as a goth. Also very similar to Josh, Dee lives in a small town in Wales where people aren't used to seeing the way that she dresses and they think it's quite alien so with that she gets a lot of negativity and quite a lot of verbal abuse and I think there have been cases where it's been physical abuse. <laughs> Such a freak. There have also been times where people have taken um, photos and videos of Dee without permission, despite it, you know, not being against the law because it's in a public place. It still kind of feels like invasion of privacy and personal space. Right. What? John, what? Make your legs and arms fall off. What's your name? Can you guys stop following me? Like, I don't What's know you. I don't know. Thing in your back, like. Don't know you, like fuck off. No, yet either. I don't want to know you, so why don't you fuck off, like? Hello, are you a woman or a man? Are you a woman? I'm a woman, yeah. A woman, you see. Dee created her YouTube channel with the purpose of essentially raising awareness of what people like me and her go through on a regular basis, whether or not it's online or in public. Dee has documented footage of people harassing her in the street and following her to the shops as she's doing a daily shop. Basically, Dee was giving you an insight into what it was like walking in her shoes, having to deal with the abuse and the ignorance of people that are on you know, the opposite side and have no idea what it's like. Although she did document the unfortunate bad sides of living as a goth, she did get a few compliments. No, your style. I just came in. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really lovely. Absolutely stunning. I love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Where did you get this from? Hey, Mr. Cool. Okay, quick question, darling. You actually look awesome. When huh? I saw you come, I saw you actually look so cool, man. I saw you coming this way, man. It's just so cool. I'm Jamal, by the way, so. What's I'm your D. name, madam? D. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Is it short for Dion? No, we're sort of oh, Diana, but I just don't know. You actually look so cool, man. Like, are you are buying some women's vintage clothes and you just look like this? Right, you look amazing. You need your makeup. Yeah. You're in the wrong, you should be in the film industry. <laughs> Honestly. So, other than recording uh, people that she refers to as chavs, Dee would document other things in her life, whether that would be her goth clothing that she wears and that she makes as well, whether that's attaching spikes or chains or buckles to things. She does have her own brand as well. And if she wasn't 
recording, you know, things that she makes, then she'll just record her commute into town, to the shops, or just walks that she would go on. Or, you know, in a past life, before the pandemic, she would be filming when she would go out to parties and, you know, go on a night out and get drunk. And I have to say, those are quite entertaining. Aside from documenting her own life, Dee would also do live streaming in which she would just be sat outside somewhere smoking a cigarette as happy as can be, just talking to her subscribers that she has. On the 28th of June, 2018, during one of Dee's live streams, a fan of King Cobra JFS asked Dee for a shout out for Josh. Now, it wasn't Josh that asked specifically for the shout out, it was a fan. So, Dee, without, you know, thinking it was anything harmful, she did so and gave him a shout out. Could you give a shout out to King Cobra? He would, he would love he would love you for it. <laughs> what it? So what do you want me to say to King Cobra JFS? What do you want me? I, I you know, I don't get these um these shout outs like because I, I have no idea what they're well well it's more of a hello really, so when he sees this live stream he will give you a shout out on his channel. Ah so that's what I mean. What's his name again? <laughs> well, hello, King Cobra JFS. Is that the <laughs> hello? <laughs> Dee didn't know that this person wasn't Josh until it was a bit too late. About a week later, on July 8th, Josh was sent a clip of Dee's video. Josh was clearly stoked that he received a shout out from a goth girl that was of age and a goth that was on YouTube. So he pretty much made himself look nice and, you know, tried to make himself look good for D. Um, I will keep my personal opinion to myself on that one. Bust out my uh, trusty tobacco pipe and I uh, thought I'd give Gothic D a shout out. She's a YouTuber who only has 422 subscribers. So if you want to check out an amazing goth chick who vlogs on YouTube, then I'll provide the link in the description box for her channel below. Saying hi back, giving y'all a shout out. So y'all, if y'all could check out our channel and be nice, that'd be epic. Because uh, I remember when I first started off on 422 subscribers. Didn't have uh, that many followers and then, yeah. Rocking that guitar like some kind of rock star. But anyways, YouTube, it's your boy King Cobra back at you with another video. And um, be sure you check out Gothic D on YouTube. And if you like cute ass goth chicks who vlog, then definitely subscribe to her channel. On July 16th, Josh's fans and trolls headed over to Dee's channel and began commenting in reference to Josh's channel to pretty much get a reaction out of Dee. And because of Dee's unfamiliarity with Josh's channel, I guess you could say she fell into the trap and a trap that I also fell into, just so you know. Don't worry about that phony imposter, Faker Cobra, with a Z. I am the real King Cobra, and I promise when I make you my gothic bride, I will protect you from all that creeps, balding spells, and troll fans. I have casted a mighty healing spell on you, my lady. No need to thank me. Tis all in a day's work for a wizard such as myself. No, what you need to do is stop telling people you're my boyfriend, because it's not cool at all. I didn't say I'm your boyfriend. I just said you are a beautiful gothic beauty, and I would love to make you my queen. I say a dark prayer for you each night before bed. King Cobra said on this video he was your boyfriend. 
He is not. I do not like him that way and I'm taken. So you could tell him to fuck off. I am not down with people lying about other people in order to ruin them. No one's trying to ruin anyone, N.A. Both of y'all are goth and would look like a perfect couple, N.A. He is not goth. In an effort to try and put all of this to bed and put an end to it, Dee made a video. The video pretty much entailed Dee just addressing Josh, specifically asking him to leave her alone. Right, so you can't see me because I got no makeup on and I can't be asked to put it on and I'm kind of pissed off so that's why if I tried to put my makeup on it probably looks shit. So this is the fourth time King Cobra channel subscribers have commented on my YouTube shit saying, saying probably me and Cobra are dating. We are not dating. Because A, I'm crushing on someone, and B, I do not like him that way, and C, I don't go out with posers, okay? So, why don't you stop saying that, um, we're a cute couple and blah blah blah, because I'm just going to block you off my channel, and so be it, okay? So, why don't you tell King Cobra to fuck off and leave me alone? Because A, I'm not his girl, I'm not his, I'm not his fucking, his fucking dark queen, as he says. Alright, so just leave me alone and fuck off and get a new fucking girl. Or, or, or probably stalk them like, like you're trying to do to me with your sending your fucking fans onto my channel. Because I'm just going to block them and then I'm going to block you as well. Because I, I do not want to see you. I, did, I wish I could take back saying hi to you. That's what I can do. I wish I can take back saying hi to you. Because now you're literally pissing me off. And to be honest... I'm not the kind of girl you want to piss off, to be honest, because I do not do shit. I do not stand for shit that people keep lying about. So I don't care if this hits you, because you're nothing but a creep. And I've heard loads of things about you. Apparently that you think that your disability, which is Asperger's, apparently you got it, and apparently that made you go goth because no one will accept you. When a disability does not tell, tell or change someone, to go goth or, or to change their appearance. The disability does not do that. You do that yourself. And to be honest, you're not goth. You're just an emo meddler kind of thing. Kind of abomination of it. You're not a goth. And the bands that you, that you have said in your videos that my friends have, have, have seen before, the bands that you mentioned in your videos are not goth. They're just, they're just, just they're just fucking rock mainstream bands. Do me a favor. And I'm going to put this as politely as I can. Fuck off and leave me alone. Alright? Because A, I will not go out with you if you were the last person on this fucking earth. Okay? Um, uh, I, you know, I wish I actually had my makeup on today so I can do a video. You know, I was saying what I'm just saying right now so you can see how pissed I am right now. But I got no makeup on so you ain't going to see fuck all. But yeah. This is my message, okay? So stop coming onto my channel saying that, oh, you, you, you two look like a cute goth couple and, and congratulations, are you Cobra's new girl and blah, blah, blah. No, we're not. A, he's, as I just said, he's not my type. B, I'm crushing on someone, which I'm probably going to be taking soon. And C, he's not my type. He's, he's not, we got nothing in common. And to be honest, I do not go out with creepy dudes. And right now, he's been really Fucking creepy, and so as his fucking subscribers as well. He his well, if any more of his subscribers is coming onto my channel saying that shit, I'm just gonna block them because you, you, you and your fucking subscribers are pissing me off. So why don't you just go and get a life and go and stalk and creep someone else out? Okay. No, I, I don't really lose my temper, but this is getting out of hand. Like this is getting so out of hand that you even, that you you Cobra you comment on my videos saying you're my dark queen I will cast a healing spell on you bitch you don't even know any spells you're not a fucking witch you're not a fucking goth you're just an emo wannabe metalhead and quite frankly those types of people do not get on my good side at all they do not get on anyone's good side at all so this is the end. Every subscriber that comes off your channel onto mine, trolling my account, I'm just going to block them, and I'm going to block you. 
because I'm not having your shit on my channel. I'm not having you ruin my YouTube. Because I think that's exactly what you're doing. You, you're trying to tell everyone that I'm a girl, so I'm going to look like a right idiot standing next to you, which I'll never even meet you because, A, we're not even in the same fucking state. And even if you were, I would probably, well, well, let's just say you wouldn't even get f five feet by me, that's for sure. So, do me a favour, right, and look at yourself in the mirror and just think what the hell you're doing. Because right now you're just pissing everyone off. You're pissing me off and quite frankly, I'm I'm not tolerating it anymore. Your, your, your subscribers are banned and you are banned from my channel. So that's just all I have to say on this subject. So I'm just going to be as clear as I can. And if people who's going to watch it uh, is not really um, getting the message, so let me s tell you really clear so you can understand, okay? Me and King Cobra are not a couple. We're not dating. He is not my fucking boyfriend. I am not his fucking wife. We have never met and we never will be. And we'll never will be together, okay? So why don't you... Focus on your own lives and fuck off mine. Shortly after the video from D was posted, Josh fired up another live stream not too long after, pretty much calling D out for not doing her research and stating that it wasn't Josh that commented on D's channel and her saying that Josh wasn't a goth. Let's see. Wow. Wow. Hold on a second, Facebook. Hell yeah. Now somebody sent me a screenshot of a conversation and supposedly one of my trolls was trying to get me set up with Gothic D and she very politely said, supposedly that she's taken and that she already has a boyfriend and then supposedly went on to say that i'm not goth see i could see this being a thing where someone fakes a uh screen response to try to start some drama on youtube i could totally see that happening well if it is really her saying that then that's kind of fucked after i gave you support on youtube but if it isn't her saying it then what the shit, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, Facebook, a lot of goths have this fucking attitude. Oh, if you don't dress a certain way, you're not goth. What, this video right here? Uh, okay, what is this? Alright, so, you can't see me because I don't know big on and I can't be honest with on and then... Uh... King Cobra JFS, leave me alone. What the fuck, dude? Seriously? Okay, that tears it. I'm making a fucking video. Fuck this shit. Who the fuck is this bitch? Who the fuck is this bitch? King Cobra JFS, leave me the fuck alone. I'm not cyber stalking you or harassing you. All I did was make one video saying, hey, check this chick out. Subscribe to her channel. She needs the support. And this is how she fucking treats me? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. That makes me think the little screen rant was real. What the fuck is this bitch's problem? I try to fucking show her support on YouTube as a fellow goth, and she f fucking does this shit? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell to the fucks no. Okay, that does it. I'm doing this shit. I'm doing this shit. It's going, it's going down. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, Gothic D, you called down the thunder. Well, now you fucking got it. I'm going to be nice in this YouTube video, but I want to say, what the fuck's your problem? Like, straight up, this is bullshit. This is what I get for trying to be nice to a chick and help her fucking channel grow. I'm not trying to fucking hit on her. I know she's fucking taken. I don't hit on women that are taken. That's called respect for the fucking game. What is up? YouTube.
It's your bad boy, sexy gothic King Cobra JFS coming back at you with another video. Just turn on the light real quick. Get some lighting on our stage. There we go. There we fucking go. All right. So a while back, a YouTuber gave me a shout out on YouTube. I had several people on Facebook say, hey, it's this chick, Gothic D. She's giving, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right. Assuming it was her, I returned the favor. I'm like, yeah, I want to give you a shout out. And you know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to fucking hit on her. I was just trying to help her get more subscribers on YouTube. That being said, she made a video saying, King Cobra JFS, leave me alone. She makes this whole fucking six minute and 47 fucking minute video saying she's pissed and I'll tell you why she's pissed off because a lot of my fucking haters are trying to set me up with her and they're fucking harassing her it's bullshit so because of that crap she thinks I'm some kind of fucking pervert stalker it's bullshit someone sent me a fucking screen capture of this thing she said okay and this person said you and gothic king cobra should hook up she says, no, thank you. I'm not interested. I'm taken. And then she goes on to say, and he's not goth. Okay. Who the fuck are you? What makes you queen shit of goth world? This is exactly the fucking problem we have in the gothic subculture. And last time I checked, all I did was try to get you more subscribers. I know you're making this stupid fucking video, King Cobra JFS, leave me alone. Well, here's my response video to that. I'm not going to fucking leave you alone, at least not for this issue. Now, I'm sorry that my fucking haters are trying to get you to hook up with me. I really am, okay? It's not my fault that my fucking haters are assholes, okay? I wasn't trying to fucking flirt with you, girl. I was trying to get you more subscribers on YouTube, trying to help you out, be a nice person. But you fucking sit there, oh, he's not God. Who the fuck are you? Who made you, who died and made you queen of the goth world? Well, you want, you, want, you want me to fucking leave you alone? Okay, check this out. I was subscribed to your shitty channel, but now I'm going to unsubscribe. Happy? You don't want my fucking support? Then fine. That's what I get for trying to help somebody who has a smaller channel. And again, I'm sorry that... My haters are cyber harassing you, okay? But please understand that that has nothing to do with me. Haters, fans, whatever you want to call them. The people who obsess over me. I've only done one fucking video about you. One video. And that was to support you on YouTube. One video. That was it. One video. And you're making this video like I'm cyber stalking you. Who the fuck are you? You're sitting here making this fucking video like, really? You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you're being stupid. You are being so fucking stupid right now. You are exactly the problem with this goth community. You fucking sit there at, on your fucking throne acting all high and mighty. Like, who the fuck are you? I gave you a shout out and told people to subscribe to your channel to help you grow as a YouTuber. I read your little screen cap. I kind of figured you were taken. I didn't have to fucking ask. You're gorgeous, okay? That's just a no fucking brainer. Like, I'm not looking to date right now. I'm focusing on myself. I like chicks, but I'm having the patience right now to be a bit more patient on the dating scene. So right now I'm doing my thing and trying to work on myself. Right now I'm trying to better myself, have more confidence in myself. Right now, I'm trying to work on my fucking temper and just do single life, okay? I'm trying to better myself and live single life right now, okay? I'm not looking for a girlfriend right now. So for you to fucking sit there and act all, whatever, dude. I should not have fucking responded to this shit. I should have just let it die, let people say their fucking thing and assume shit. But I think it's kind of unfair for you to sit there and assume I'm stalking you because my fucking fans are assholes. Because my trolls won't leave you the fuck alone. Like, for real. I wasn't trying to get down your fucking pants. I was just trying to help you get more subscribers on YouTube. Sorry, Gothic D. I'm sorry for trying to be a nice guy and help your channel grow. 
where do I get off subscribing to your channel to support you? Not trying to fucking flirt with you, not trying to get down your fucking pants, not trying to get with you, just trying to support you as a fellow fucking YouTuber who's been doing YouTube for 10 plus fucking years. So I know a thing or two, okay? I've been on YouTube for 10 plus fucking years. I know how hard it is on this website to get anywhere with it. You want me to leave you the fuck alone? Fine. I am subscribed to your fucking channel. Don't ever fucking ask me to support anyone else's channel again. Fuck this shit. The fucking problem with women anymore, you try to help them out and be a nice guy and they assume you're fucking hitting on them. Like, fuck off. I can't be a nice human being without being considered sexist or trying to get down someone's pants. Fuck off, dude. I hate double standards. I try to do you a nice thing. I try to help you get more subscribers on YouTube so you can make some money. And then you sit there and call me a fake goth. Tell me to leave you the fuck alone. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to pick on somebody with autism? I have Asperger's, gothic D. I have Asperger's. I have cataracts. I have ADHD and social anxiety and fucking depression. But I don't let it stop me from living my fucking life. Here's the thought. When somebody gives you a shout out on YouTube and tells people, hey, check out this chick's channel. Subscribe for more content. You say thank you for the support. You don't sit there and say, leave me the fuck alone. I wasn't trying to fucking hit on you. I was trying to help you grow as a YouTuber. I thought to myself, you know what? Us fellow goths got to stick together. Some people try the goth thing and they're like, oh, it's just a phase. And they grow out of it. Some people realize that's who the fuck they are. So yeah, I'm done. I'm fucking done. This is the last video I'm making of Gothic D. I got my fucking point across nice and fine. I feel like a lot of goths who watch my videos are going to see this and go, you know what? I feel 100% what the fuck he is saying. I'm tired of being a call I'm tired of being called a poser goth by other goths. Like, who the fuck are you? Just because I don't do goth like you do, that makes me a poser? Fuck off, dude. F fuck right off. I had a bomb ass day. I had a good day at work too. You know what I'm saying? Like I had an awesome day at work and I'm like, you know what? I'll come home. I'll tackle this situation. I wasn't going to make a fucking video about this. I saw the little screen cap that Gothic D said. And again, Gothic D, I'm sorry that my haters are harassing you, trying to get you to hook up with me. Believe me, I had a feeling you were taken. I'm not stupid, okay? I'm not going to hit on women that are taken. That's called respect for the game. This video is going to be called My Response to Gothic D. This is the only video I'm going to be making, okay? If you make a video responding to this, then you're pathetic. Seriously pathetic. Like, I'm not going to get into a fucking troll war with some fucking bitch on YouTube who sits there and fucking talks shit. Like, you feel good about yourself, Gothic D? Picking on somebody with autism? You feel good about yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're sitting there fucking... Okay. Okay, before we make any harsh judgments, let's watch this fucking six-minute video. So, this is the fourth time King Cobra channel subscriber that comment on my YouTube channel. Okay, hold on. Hold the fuck on. I have never commented on your fucking channel. Whoever is commenting on your channel is pretending to be me and stalking you to make me look bad. That's bullshit. Again, Gothic D, I'm sorry that my haters are pretending to be me on YouTube and fucking harassing you. Okay? This shit pisses me off. These trolls got what they want. They fucking started some drama and got this chick pissed off at me for something I didn't do. These haters know I struggle with women in the dating scene in general. So they're like, okay, let's fuck with him some more. 
Let's pretend to be him on YouTube and cyberstalk this chick so she thinks it's him doing it. This will be fucking funny. Ho, ho, ho. We'll pick on this guy for having autism and being socially awkward with women. Oh, this will be fucking great. Ho, ho, ho. We'll show him. We'll fucking show him. I'm sick of this shit. People are trying to fucking start drama with me on fucking YouTube. They're trying to fucking drag my name and fucking get me in trouble with some chick I don't even know. All I did was say, hey, check out this chick. All I did was make one video giving her a fucking shout out. And then I got trolls pretending to be me on fucking YouTube, fucking harassing her, and she thinks it's me doing it. That's bullshit. So again, Gothic D, I'm sorry my haters. Are Wait, why the fuck am I apologizing for my haters? They're the ones fucking doing it. They're the ones trying to create drama and bullshit to fucking get me in trouble with this chick I don't even fucking know. Like, <sighs> fucking stupid, dude. I'm not pissed off, okay? For the record, I'm not pissed off at Gothic D. I'm kind of mad at my haters, dude. They live to fuck with my life and make my social media experience miserable. This is Gothic King Cobra. Sorry, my haters are dicks. That's all I can say. And at this point, she's going to look at my comment and go, ugh. As if this comment, this is the only comment I've ever made on her channel. Hey, yo, I'll catch you cool cobras on the flip side. Over the coming days, unfortunately, the trolling and the comments continued on Dee's channel. It's not just YouTube. They've been trying to get into my Instagram, stealing my photos into the Chavi videos, messaging my multiple account. They are worse than school bullies. Obviously, their parents didn't raise them right, so this is my last video and then deactivating it. That's what you get for calling people posers. Take that bullshit out your face and stop living like it's 1998. For the trolls who are harassing Gothic D, please read this. Gothic D is not King Cobra JFS girlfriend. It is not fair to harass someone with lies and stalk her with this crap. It is a criminal offense to stalk someone, even online, so stop it. Can I at least add you on Instagram? I think you're cool as fuck and started your channel around the time I did. I think it's awful. Some stupid assholes. I don't understand why people have to troll around and treat people like crap. I'm sorry, D. Really. People equal shit. Josh is fucking mental. I've been following him for years and years now and he's just a fucking balding moron. Just ignore him and he'll go away. Yeah, sure. When all of this was happening, Josh's ex-girlfriend, Stephanie, got involved as well and tried offering Dee some advice. I wouldn't worry about the threats. They threats they have done similar to me and never acted on it. I live in the same town as him. On July 16th, Dee actually deleted her video and made a new one called clear things up, hashtag block the trolls. In this video, Dee said that she figured out that the trolls were harassing her and she even tried reaching out to Josh on Facebook, however, never garnering a response from Josh, which in my opinion just made everything worse. If Josh had responded, I think maybe none of this would have happened. So this is another video. Six o'clock in the morning because my mind is being busy thinking about all these things that's been happening. And for someone who's never been trolled before, how do they know that they're being trolled when everyone's saying all these stuff? I mean, you can't exactly, like, think everyone's being trolled by some vile comments. I'm guessing the trolls are little childs as well. That's usually what showers look like. They're just little shabby little people. Um, I don't know what 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 makes you trolls. You know, I don't know. Probably get out of something by posting that shit. I don't know what makes you get out of something like that. Maybe maybe it turns you on. Maybe it makes you horny. I don't know. But you're just a fucking weirdo. And quite frankly, I'm not gonna fall for any of your shit. 
I'm just gonna wait until um, Cobra actually messes me back because I messed him. And now I do not lash out at all. I just sent all the screenshots that you guys have been posting, and just and just says, you know, if he knows anything about it, or if he is behind it, or or something else like. You know, so I'm just gonna wait until he is so I can hear his side of the story. You know? and yes, I know he's kind. He's also sick, sick, well, as he says, but then again, he, he also said that being autistic it made him go golf, when that's not really the case, really. You do that yourself. Your disability, or whatever's wrong with you, does not make you go somewhere, or turn into something. But I am stating, well, I'm sticking with what I said, that he's not a golf. He's just, he's just an emo slash metal head person, but he does not come across anything that's goth at all and the bands he's mentioned are not goth at all even though yes some some goths are allowed to listen to bands that are not goth i mean i do as well i kind of know that it was bad to upload that video it's like the second time so last night was just one big drama blowout bloody video when someone created a, a um what's it a reddit Something I've never heard of it, but someone posted a link because someone created a Reddit of me. And quite frankly, it's creepy because the background is just my just a thousand pictures of my eyes from my contacts in, so that's kind of creepy. <laughs> now I know what normies um, think when they say um, see my contacts because that is creepy if it scared me. And yes, I do apologize for that video as well. Because I know it was wrong, but without hearing the full story. So I hope people and Cobra can forgive me for that. But it was just so overwhelming from all the comments people were saying. So this is the video. That's gonna be, I was going to end now. Hoping people YouTube and Cobra can forgive me from that video that I posted. I probably, I probably won't get forgiven, but, you know, it's worth a try. Worth a try, and hopefully nothing like that will happen, happen to other people in the future. Best off to block out the trolls, because they clearly have no life at all. And the hashtag would be block the trolls. On July 18th, Dee made another video that was called Response to the Trolls and King Cobra. At this point, I think we can all understand Dee was pretty much over the drama and the harassment that she ended up um, slapping back. Oh, quite a nice chips. But I was going to make this, well, I was going to make a video after the one I just posted. But I saw a, a comment that got held in review saying, I don't, I'm um, saying. I didn't know goth like Black the Bride. It's funny because people are still judging people based on their tattoos. Yes, I got Black the Bride tattoo, as you can see, sticking on my neck. But they are from 2016. And 2016 is when I started to go goth, like in the middle of 2016. And I was going goth then. Well, as I said in my other videos that you clearly did not bother to even watch because well, I'm guessing you didn't bother to watch because you think you know everything when you don't. So let me so let me repeat what I what I said in my other videos. Goths do like other music that isn't goth, but but apart from you, we actually know what band is goth and what bands are not. And we don't call Moshe some white goth. We don't call Blood on the Dance Floor goth. We don't call Lincoln Park goth. We don't call Three days grace goth because we actually know what what is goth and what is not, and judging someone based on their tattoos is really twelve year old behavior. You trolls are probably twelve year olds behind the computer screen with a Google image. You you can't see it face to face to someone, so you see it online, and you think seeing it online actually. Ashley matters. Try to burst your bubble, but everything said online that you post, me and my friends are just laughing at you. Literally, we're laughing so much because 
The stupidity is really high up on the scale of everything you've said. Because you kind of make me have more views on my videos by watching it and sharing it and liking it and commenting on it. And, inv and inviting your little trolly friends onto my channel as well, which is, which is giving me even more views. So really, you're helping my account, really. So, really, you're not really a troll, you're actually a fan. Because you, you are not a troll, you are a fan, but you just won't admit it. No. And like one thing that that as well is that the stuff that the stuff that you guys post is really vile and homophobic. So I kind of gathered what you guys are like. If you're commenting homophobic language on my on my videos, call me a faggot, um, a lesbian, which I'm not. I'm actually bisexual. Thank you. No. No, I, I don't get much pussy, thank you. No. Well, is that if Cobra actually ans um, looked at his Facebook messages that I sent him before slandering my name everywhere and, and well, just doing all that stuff, trying to ruin me, call me, call me this and that, and having, having people call me a bully for, disa for bullying a disabled person, which... I'm pretty sure a disabled person cannot bully another disabled person because they're kind of the same. I mean, they're both disabled, you know, so they can't bully each other for having a disability when they got as well, you know, that's logic. And this whole thing started because I said hi. I said hi, he gave me a shout out, and then I had, then I had his chores come onto my account. <laughs> Being absolute trolls with vile comments harassing me, threatening me. So I made a video that I deleted because I knew that I was in the wrong with doing that. That's why I made another video that says clearing things up, hashtag block patrols. If you watch that video, you'll actually know. So I'm not the one slandering him because he's the one who done it first. Well, his trolls did it. And then when I tried to make amends after that video, he slandered my name, called me all, all this and that. So, so really, I'm not the one I've asked him. I'm not the one slandering him. He's doing that to me, and his fucking trolls are doing it as well. So, you you wanna call me all this and all that? You're welcome to because I've been called worse in school. Which, if you actually saw my bullying videos, well, it started in primary school, primary school, all the way up until now, thanks to your trolls. Which your trolls are just gonna get blocked. So before anyone actually says that, that I'm bullying him be because of his disability, if you actually saw my video that I say clear things up, you actually know what I was saying. Let's just say the troll just won more and more. But this is the end. And this time I'm not this time I actually got makeup on. So I so I'm actually telling you face to face. Not with a black screen. I was like, I was like, last time when I did a black screen, I was out the back and it was like, f I'm like, quarter to six in the morning and my mum was in bed, so I had to keep my voice down. So, this is me telling you, telling you without a black screen. So, message to the trolls and message to King Cobra. If you answered your Facebook message before you started slandering my name everywhere, and call me all this and all that. Which I'm, which to be honest, I'm not the goth queen. And nobody died either to make me queen. Because I have not got a crown. And even if I did, I would not really be stuck up. Because I'm not. My channel was doing much fine until the trolls came. But then again, your trolls are kind of... Um, Making it even more big by watching my YouTube videos. So I don't think that I don't think you trolls actually realize how far that is from me and Cobra. It is pretty far considering he's on the other side of the world. So how are we together and how are we, you know, I can't do, how are we intimate if he's like on the other side of the world? I mean, what are we teleporting or something? Because if that was real, I would teleport myself to Germany. 
I don't think you trolls actually think before you say it because everything everything that comes out of your mouth is just hilarious. You know, tell me to fuck off, you can't um they're gonna put some spells on me and that, which I said might do not exist. I mean what are you twelve years old? <laughs> like come on man. It's like so I don't know what else to say, like I mean I mean your king that you um that you follow and you love has told you to leave me alone but you don't listen. So clearly you're not a fan of him either if he if you're not doing what he says. You know, you're not a goth if you eat food, you're not a goth if you like minions. You're not a goth if you like minions either. Which I have a huge collection of that. And you're not a well, you're not a goth if you if you got boobies as well. Which you saw one, so this is this is another one. And another one which it, it, the black has come off. And another one. Ooh. It's a bit black. What am I? <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Like come on. <laughs> like 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 come on, like that was like the most perfect act in ever. Most shocking act in ever that is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. See, I got low key by year. Hang on. I got, I got low key by year. That's not a goth. That's not a gothic at all. <gasps> That's shocking. Oh, look, and I got low key tattoos as well. That's an ungoth thing, having low key tattoos on you. Loki's not a goth, so why she got them tattooed on you as well? Oh, look, I got snowman. I got snowman as well. Is that an goth? Oh, that shock. I'm, I'm so bad. I am so bad. Well, apart from having white floor and I got a brown, I got a brown floor, and I got a brown door. Is that supposed to be black as well? I, am I supposed to have no colour in my room at all? Am I supposed to have eyebrows that are actually real as well? Because that does not suit me at all. I am just hilarious and is hilarious to watch. But you guys are you guys are gonna dislike it because I'm actually sarcastically immaturely acting to everything you you've commented. Enjoy. On July nineteenth, a troll chopped up these videos and turned it into a meme. This was done to pretty much get a reaction out of Josh. Hey Josh, have you seen that bullshit video someone made about you of D roasting you? Uh, no, I haven't seen it. If people are taking the response video that Gothic D made and then making a stupid video. Okay, so haters be making videos about me on YouTube trying to make fun of me. Watch me watch this with a straight face. You ready for this shit? Me and Cobra are dating. We are not dating because I don't go out with poses. <laughs> so I don't care if this hits you because you're nothing but a creep. And to be honest, you're not a goth. You're just an emo meddler kind of thing, kind of abomination of it. You're not a goth. <laughs> you turn off the comment section on every video because you can't say crits him. Okay, she doesn't, this bitch doesn't understand why I have the comment sections turned off on my videos. Okay, Gothic D, let me ask you something. How would you feel if people are trying to release your address, release where you work? It's not that I can't take criticism, Gothic D. It's that people have cyber harassed me to the point where I cannot have comments on my videos. And you are, you are talking about an abomination. How the fuck do you have a job with those obnoxious, ugly piercings in your fucking face? Who the fuck made you queen of Gothland? Like, it's sad, dude. This is the uh, fucking narcissistic attitude that these fake poser goths have. Like, straight up. When you do, you lash out and you call everyone that been that then that. I don't really care that you've been doing it for like 10 years, like, I mean, for someone who's doing it 10 years, why are you, why are you acting like a 12 year old and lashing out the people? <laughs>
The reason why I lash, see, and how is that an insult? You're not even being original. You're just taking a looped thing from Family Guy, like this, this internet meme. Like, I wasn't specifically lashing out at you. I was lashing out at the fact that haters are trying to stir a drama. And your fucking accent is stupid. Like, what the fuck is, is this shit? Like, this gothic D bitch acting like... She's queen of Gothland. Okay, now it's time for a fucking video. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Because these fucking trolls want to fucking fuck with me, dude. Like, who the fuck is this stupid fucking cunt? Like, she's sitting here saying, I'm not goth. Well, who the fuck makes her queen of Gothland? That's all I'm getting at. And... Yeah, I'm lashing out because people are fucking bullying me on YouTube. And you sit there and say, oh, I don't care if you've been doing it for 10 plus years. Obviously you care because you have that tone in your fucking voice. <coughs> right. What is up, YouTube? So apparently Gothic D made another video about me calling me immature and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Okay, what's mature about taking an outdated internet gif to make your insults sound dissing, like you don't have any actual friends to back it up for yourself, first of all. Second of all, how the fuck do you have a job with those obnoxious piercings in your face? Third of all, who, who the fuck died and made you queen of goth world? And by sitting there saying, I'm not goth, for whatever fucking reason you sit there and say I'm not goth, makes you a fucking poser because guess what? There's different ways of doing goth. So you make all these harsh assumptions without knowing me. And right now, these trolls got us doing this back and forth bullshit. You want to fucking sit there that, and say that I'm fucking 12 years old when you have these obnoxiously hideous piercings in your fucking face. Eyebrows shaved so fucking skinny that they might as well not be eyebrows at all. Like, you look like a stereotypical, oh, look at me, I'm from Europe, I'm, I'm the snooty, I know it all goth attitude, and it's just disgusting. So if you want to sit here and have an actual fucking conversation, you know, sit there and say, I can't take c c criticism. I watched your little fucking bullshit video, and this is me telling you my side of the story. I don't know why the fuck I'm even bothering with this stupid bitch, but it is what it is. You want to call me a creep? You goddamn right I'm a creep. I'm a creep and I make it look good. I'm a sexy ass creep. Okay. Is that supposed to hurt my little feelings? You act like I'm the first. You 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 act like you're the first chick to call me a creep. Like is that supposed to affect me? Like seriously, Gothic D, get off your fucking high horse. That was a diss video someone made of Gothic D dissing me, so I want to redo that. Hold on a second, don't save. Great, more drama on social media. Just what I fucking wanted. <sighs> Hold on a second, Facebook. I'll get back to you in a second. That same day, Josh made the video, Gothic D, you don't even know me, in response to the edited video during a live stream with Alex Anderson. All right, people, we're going to do this right okay so i gotta make a response video to gothic d because she one she calls me immature and abomination and this and that she doesn't understand why i disable comments on my videos because people have cyber bullied me to the point of doxing and this and that and re legitly wanting to cause fucking problems yeah exactly and it's you know what i'm saying if all they were doing was criticizing me and calling me names, I'd be like, yeah, it's whatever. I don't care. But they don't just do that. You know what I'm saying? Going off in this, this assuming attitude. You know, she's sitting there calling me an abomination to goth, and she's sitting there calling me emo and this and that. I'm saying you're acting 12 years old. And then I'm acting 12 years old when she's got these obnoxiously large piercings in her fucking eyebrow or nose i mean it isn't just a cute little gothic piercing no they're like about as big as my dog collar that's how big these piercings are and it's like 
you want to sit there and call me this and that, like, whatever, dude. Well, no, I'm not doing well, Jeffrey. I'm depressed, as usual, and I got to deal with drama on social media, and I don't like it. This fucking snarky attitude that these wannabe goths have towards people like me. Like, this gothic D bitch is making a video insulting me, and it's just... Whatever, dude. Okay, you know what? Here's the thing. I don't know what my fans attacking Gothic D because she made a response video. So, this diss video that Gothic D made, I got a response video to that, and I'm about to make it here. Like, if she's got a boyfriend, maybe she needs to get some dick inside of her. Or maybe her boyfriend's dick isn't good enough, and that's why she's being a, a royal cunt. On second thought, no, if you want to be a fucking bitch to me, if she makes another video responding to me negatively, and dissing on me, then, then my fans can cyberstalk her and harass her and see how she likes it. You know what I'm saying? You think I won't fetch my cult on somebody for trying to start shit with me? Oh, think again. You want to make my online miserable, online experience miserable? I can do the same right back to you, honey. But I'm going to play it nice in this video, and if she's still being a royal cunt after this response video, then she brought it upon herself. You're not going to add feel to, to this to the fire on this video, but your fans can if she dogs you again, right? Like you were saying. Yeah. I should have to fucking explain myself to this fucking wannabe cunt, but you know what? Some people don't understand the struggle I go through with autism. It may not be as bad as epilepsy or being blind, but... So apparently, Gothic D made a diss video about me. And she made a couple of accusations without even knowing the full story. So I watched your little diss video with a straight face, and I'm laughing about it hysterically. Here's the thing, Gothic D. My fucking trolls have tried very hard to make my cyber online experience very miserable. And you want to sit there and call me an abomination to goth? What the fuck are those piercings on your face? Like, maybe your boyfriend's dick isn't good enough because you're acting like you need some. No, hold on a second. Fuck! I can't, I can't start insulting her like that. Then they'll just be use it. I fucking hate these stupid fucking YouTube drama bullshit! I'm tired of it! It would be nice if people could just grow the fuck up, but they don't know how to. So, Gothic D has made a diss video that someone remade it with uh, some stupid shit. Who the fuck are you to sit there and say, I'm not goth? Who died and fucking made you queen of gothland? This fucking, oh, I'm from Europe and I know everybody, know better than everybody else. I'm, you know, you want to sit there and call me immature, but you're wearing these obnoxious fucking earrings that are like this fucking big. You, you look like you're trying way too hard. And again, if you'd done a little bit more research and realized that all the gothic King Cobra accounts leaving messages on your YouTube aren't the real one, you would have been like, oh, he's not really stalking me. He just gave me a shout out and trying to help me get more subscribers on YouTube. But now it's turned to a he said, she said, you're this, you're that argument on YouTube. I fucking love it. And you want to sit there and call me a fucking creep. Is that supposed to hurt my feelings, bitch? Because you act like I'm, that you're the first chick to call me a creep. Guess what? You're not. I see your personality, and you're an ugly person on the inside. And what the fuck is that accent? Learn how to fucking speak English. You fucking mall core cunt. Straight up. You want to call me names, Gothic D? Guess what? You're a mall core cunt. How about that? Doesn't feel so good, does it? And if you get pissed off at me for saying, fuck this, fuck you, blah, 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 you're a fucking hypocrite because you're calling me names and saying shit too. So, anyways, Gothic D, thank you for making a response video. Thanks for insulting me on YouTube when clearly you're talking about yourself when you say those things. Okay, Facebook, that was much needed.
I cannot believe I'm even feeding into this stupid shit. I feel like that was very well said. I didn't lose my cool. I can see where Gothic D might think I'm immature, especially if I'm flipping out on camera like I was last time. But I was kind of having a bad day that day, to be honest. Well, dealing with stupid shit. Wait, did Gothic D just tweet about me saying I'm a fake-ass goth for res for what? Gothic D, what? She talks shit on her Instagram, too. Who the fuck is this bitch? Why is she talking shit on me? Like, what did I do to her? All I did was try to give her... Gothic D just tweeted about you saying how you are a fake goth for responding. Oh, I'm a fake goth for responding? Well, then why is she fucking harassing me? She calls me a fake goth for responding, but here she is, harassing me, revealing my address. Fuck her. Fuck her, dude. That's fucked up because she says you're fake, but then she's the one that's ca causing the drama. Exactly my point. Gothic D says I'm fake, but here she is causing the drama. Okay, my fans. I think it's time for you to teach this bitch a lesson. You want to fucking start shit with me? You have no fucking idea who you're fucking with. Okay. You want to call me fucking names? Fine. But revealing my address on Twitter, where's the proof? Hmm? Where's the proof that Gothic D is... <coughs> How do I know the trolls aren't trying to fucking add fuel to the fire and make this shit even worse? Yeah, if Gothic D is continuing to fucking harass me, then I want my fans to fucking have my back on this 100%. Exactly my point. If Gothic D is truly fucking with me like this and calling me names and this and that, then she needs to be dealt with. What she says, yes, he brought Brian. Fuck with the Cobra and get. Fuck with the Cobra and get bit. Right. Fucking A, dude. Yeah, if she wants to continue to fucking harass me, then my Legion of Fans will take care of her. Trust and believe. You don't fuck with the Cobra, man. Nope, you just don't do that. Now, if I'd have known that trying to help another goth out on YouTube was going to get a bunch of shit started, then I wouldn't have helped her out. Then I wouldn't have helped her out at all, period. I don't want to talk about that, to be honest. Like, you know what I'm saying, Facebook? Like, I don't want to talk about it. Like, I said my piece in my last video, and if the stupid bitch makes it a response video, then it's like, oh, great. Here we fucking go again. Did Gothic D really fucking put my address on Twitter? That's pretty fucked, dude. Gothic D showed her true colors here. I bet a lot less people will follow her now. Yeah, I bet so too. Like, she's sitting here on Instagram talking shit about me. She's sitting there on Twitter talking shit about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, dude. That's, that's sort of... You know, this is the kicker of it. The only thing I did was try to get her to have more subscribers. And then, like, one troll or four different trolls created four different accounts... And cyber stalked her. I think a lot of people saw her true colors today. And they were just like, well, this person's kind of a shitty person. And she got so much harassment that she probably kept her shit private now. She's probably got her fucking Twitter account, her Facebook, and YouTube, and all that. Or whatever the fuck it is. Or not her YouTube, but her, at least her Twitter and Instagram account are all private. What the fuck is this? <sighs> Gothic D response to trolls and King Cobra translated. And. Wow. That was kind of sexy. 
Hell yeah. Thanks, Gothic D. You know what? I want to give her a shout out on YouTube because that was a pretty sexy fart. So some chick's just ripping ass to respond to me. Huh. That's kind of sexy, I'm not going to lie. She's just sitting there fucking in these tiny-ass black pants like, <laughs> like, uh, you might have stained your Asperger's there. So, wow. Like, this hot-ass goth chick just farts for me on camera. See, I have to wonder if there's a troll paying her to do all this because... I'm finding it seriously hard to believe that this goth chick is this obsessed with me. She claims to be taken, but every time I make a fucking video responding to her shit, she makes one right back. That really makes you stop and think, doesn't it? Okay, so what, here's my YouTube repost. I'm going to watch the Gothic D video and pretend like I'm jacking off to it, but I'm not really going to do it. Just to be a smart ass. Yeah, something about that video does seem a bit weird, doesn't it? It's a troll video, my man. Yeah, I know it is. I know it is. I'm not stupid. You thought I was going to do that for a second, didn't you? No. And it's funny because people are still judging people based on their tattoos. Yes, I got black with bright tattoo, as you can see, sticking on my neck. Shit, who, who the fuck is this chick? Blackville Brides? That's kind of screamo chicky. Like, you want to sit there and call me emo, but... Uh, I wasn't going to make a video responding And people are still judging people. She's sitting there saying, people are still judging people. Oh, what the fuck is this? You, you calling me all these fucking names in the book. Fucking calling me this and that. People are still judging people. And I don't like it, but then I'll turn around and call this other kid or whatever on YouTube this autistic and emo this and that. But people are still judging other people. I don't like it. Even though I'll fucking sit there and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no. Whatever, dude. I mean, okay, yeah, she's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. But, like, I know she's taken, so I'm not going to fuck with taken women. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why the fuck all these trolls got to be like, you know, on the Reddit said, God, D knows Danny Divine. I don't buy it at all. Yeah, I don't buy it either. People on the Reddit said, God, D knows. Yeah, I don't think she does. I think it's just people are trying to uh, take this whole fucking drama I've been going through the last couple of days and make it worse. No, but I definitely learned my lesson on a lot of things. Oh boy, this is where I come in. On July 21st, um, I believe me and Dee were talking a bit before then, so I was already kind of aware of the situation, but I was kind of hidden behind the sidelines. So Dee pretty much messaged me again to explain that it was getting worse and she just had enough. So I made a video. <laughs> pretty much just calling out Josh and the trolls and the fans and I believe the video was titled King Cobra JFS Stop This Now. Hey guys it's Raven welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm actually rather pissed off. I don't give a shit. Not kind of. It actually is directed towards King Cobra JFS whoever whatever the fuck his name is. I've seen your videos before I only found you because of Gothic D, who is actually a friend of mine. <laughs> For some reason, you don't even seem to pay attention to what people are saying because you just assume that everything shit that's been said about you, you automatically assume that D is the person who said it. And if you actually went to her videos and listened to them, you would see that in no way, shape or form was she bashing your name, slandering your name, taking the piss out of you, being an elitist, being a douchebag or anything towards you. She was literally putting everything straight and she was telling the truth and what was happening. How it went down, you had to sit there on your fucking channel, Cobra, whatever your name is, Josh, I don't even know, and belittle D. Take the piss out of her appearance, call her a cunt, pardon my language, but that is the word he used. A fucking bitch. Really? Really? D is 23 years old. How old are you? 
30 to 40. What bothers me is that you sit there and moan about how you're being harassed every day. I don't care whether or not you have your, your comments disabled, but on your channel, they are disabled, so I doubt you even get half of the harassment that Dee does every day from your fans, from your following. What makes it worse is that you don't even tell your fans to stop. You are enabling them to bully her, and what you've done to her is bully her by calling her every fucking name under the sun because you are annoyed at her. You should have stopped talking about this when you said you were gonna stop, but now you are just trying to bring up old shits when Dee has brought up nothing since the last video she posted, which was two days ago. You're, you're rather late, so why are you bringing it up again? Everything is happening because your haters or your fans are posing as you on YouTube and are taking clips apart and then re-editing them to make it sound like, you know, that people are being mean to you and that Dee's harassing you and Dee's saying all this shit about you. Excuse me. When, in reality, you shouldn't even be looking at the spam accounts or the fake accounts, you should be looking at Dee's account when she didn't say anything nasty towards you. Also, <laughs> I just want to make something clear. Where and, like, where the fuck did Dee say that she was the Queen of Goth? Um, where... <laughs> I can't even comprehend that because like I've known I've known Dee for a couple of years now and if I if I may say so myself Dee is one of the kindest human beings I've ever come across so for you to sit there and belittle her like that and be such a fucking asshole towards her is fucking beyond me and it just I already had a disliking to you but now I have even more of a disliking to you 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 have a lot of growing up to do and honestly I don't give a shit how your mind works what disability you have you are still able to determine right from wrong and what you're doing is still completely fucking wrong you are basically you are enabling people to bully people like to bully other people like because I stuck up for D your following went after me as well how how are you how are you a good person if you don't even make the effort to stop your following from attacking other people for example if I if somebody was like beefing with me on social media and they were saying they're following to attack me and then my following found out I would still say the same thing to them don't go and attack them because that's not how my channel fucking rolls that's not how I roll I'm not gonna go over to someone's channel and go fucking mental with my following because like oh somebody insulted me somebody had a go at me because my hair's green like really I have had nothing but shit from your following since I stuck up for D against you because you're a piece of shit. You know you're a piece of shit so stop acting like a piece of shit. Apologise for being so fucking rude to her. The way that you spoke about her was absolutely disgusting. You made her out to be this human being that she isn't. You don't know her at all. And then you sit there and say oh well you don't know me D. Really? No one knows you either. Why are you acting like you know D when you have no fucking clue who she is? The one that knows who she is is this bitch sitting right here me i know who she is i know what she's like and to be honest she can't even come back to youtube at this point because she's had enough of your fucking following trashing her channel i'll give you an example your fans i'm so fucking angry i can't even cope with this seriously and i'm never normally this angry or having to go at somebody but you are vile seriously trigger warning there will be a few horrible words in this video the other thing as well dean never bullied you for your disability like she she never she never had she never had a go at you for that. She never took the piss out of you for that. It's kind of hard to take the piss out of somebody with the same disability as you. It doesn't even make sense. Where's the logic? Obviously never watched her videos, so you have no idea what you're talking about and you are just projecting yourself onto people and to her because you only watch what people put out in terms of watching you two fight at each other in a fucking ring and they, they put their own spin on it. So you don't really understand like what's even going on but it's just disgusting the way that you treated her and the way that you talked so much shit about her in your video last night or that you posted yesterday or nine hours ago disgusting i've never seen someone attack another human being like that before and taking the piss out of her appearance as well like what taking the piss out of the fact that she wears giant jewelry in her face dude she looks fucking awesome the other thing i'll never understand you had a go at her because apparently she took the piss out of your appearance when you took the piss out of her nationality what is it you said oh yeah speak english do speak english she is speaking english english is not her native language she's not originally from the uk is she stop taking the piss out of nationality that is way lower 
than like taking the piss out of anything else that you've done already. You are such a dick. I can't even cope. I'm ranting so fucking hard that I'm actually going to have a cigarette in a minute, okay? So the comments that were on Dee's comment on this video, people have called Dee uh, a poser faggot. Excuse my language, it's not my language, it's other people. D is a fucking cunt. Here we go. Shut up, you retard. <laughs> Take that shit out of your mouth too. No one cares how much attention you need. That is just fucking vile. D should kill herself. <laughs> which I thought was absolutely wild because I had that as well. Some idiot basically like hiding behind a Google image of like a satanic symbol, like try again. Another one was, yo bitch, why, why have you got a tackle box on your face? Like that is vile, really? But I've also seen stuff here, people sticking up for D against you as well. Like apparently Josh is a complete retard, apparently. Um, and he's embarrassing himself. Like, so these are your own fans doing this as well. Like, some, some of them that are good that I have come across, but like the rest are negative and disgusting. Apparently, D is bully scum when, like, D has been a victim of bullying for fucking years since primary school. Do you know how I know? Because I'm a friend of hers, that's how I know. It's, oh man, it's just like, it's so unneeded. Like, you don't need to re constantly repeat yourself. Like, if you hate being harassed and bullied so much, then don't turn into that person which you already are turning into. All this drama has got to stop. Like, I'm not the only person that said this either. Like, even some of your fans have said that you need to stop. D has said that this needs to stop. There's nothing else to do here. There's nothing else to say. Back off and just get on with your life. Like, keep posting your fucking live streams. Who gives a shit? Don't sit there behind your fucking screen and act like the Lord of Goth or something or like the Lord of the World. What I say goes, okay? Like, nothing you say goes. You need to curb your attitude and sort it out. It's rude. You might not think that your words hurt people, but they really do hurt people. And you have no idea the impact of that because you're not in the same room as them when you say it to them. You're behind a screen via a video saying it to them. Grow the fuck up. Stop feeding into this bullshit anymore because it's not Dee that's done anything wrong. She's already proven that. You are the one that's feeding into the bullshit that either your negative fans, your negative part of your fans, and harassers have been putting together themselves to make you both fight against each other. You didn't go there first, you went straight for D and you bullied her and called her horrendous names. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. You need to research and look before you attack someone because you think they're the source of the issue when it's not. D's had enough. I've had enough for fuck's sake. D's a friend of mine. You are vile. <laughs> Grow up, back off, leave it alone and just get on with your own life. That's all I'm going to say because I've had enough of this bullshit. I've never seen someone be so rude or hear someone be so rude and use the language that you've used. It's absolutely vile. I'm going to stick up for my friends. So and if that means getting involved and getting stupid petty comments for it, then so fucking be it. I can handle myself. I don't hide behind Google images like most of your fans do. Okay. I think looking back at the video, I the, the way that I presented myself was so cringeworthy. I don't even have that kind of mindset anymore. I'm not just going to randomly attack somebody anymore. If I had to sum my old video in one word, cringe. Just utter cringe. I heard that this King Cobra guy has some sort of slogan. Play with the Cobra, get bite, or something like that. Clearly, this isn't King Cobra's first run-in with trouble. Wow. So he does this for fun? He's nasty. He's made my friend so upset that I feel the need to step up and defend her. If he wants to play with me and start trouble, then he'll get more of a bite. <laughs> that was rude. King Cobra JFS is more goth than you. Hope you enjoy the incoming balding spell. Fuck off. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Hair's looking a little thin. I warned you my spells were real. I also put a start smoking again spell. Your face is going to look rather shattered when I'm done with it. I warned you that I don't take shit from low life scum such as yourself. P.S. I look fucking fabulous with my vibrant arse green hair. That's always been fair head. <laughs> I'd rather be a low life scum goth than a fake balding goth like you will be. If you doubt my powers, just look at Gothic D's Insta and see my spell working its dark magic already. Shortly after I made my video, D then uploaded a video which titled The End of My YouTube Channel and then deleted her entire channel, which to me was quite sad because she felt that attacked that she was 
being bullied completely off of YouTube. And it wasn't just YouTube either. Jean says, did you see Gothic D deleted her account? Well, yeah, because I kind of proved her wrong. She kind of felt like a piece of shit after that, I reckon. If she truly deleted her account, well, she didn't have to, but that's how she feels. I can understand wanting to uh, delete certain things like an account. I think, you know, in an effort to kind of save her own sanity, Dee thought that like the best option would be to completely remove herself. And for me, I've made that kind of mistake. And I say mistake because I've left the internet before. I left YouTube in 2018 because I just didn't want to sit there and edit videos anymore. It was just annoying to me. I think this entire thing could have gone a completely different way. And if Josh and Dee had just communicated, I don't think any of this would have happened. That's my opinion. When Dee deleted her channel, communication between me and her went from almost, you know, communicating every day to zero. Didn't hear from her for a good two years. She was still on social media, but would still randomly disappear and delete her profiles over like short periods of time, over having a profile up, and then it would disappear. In 2019, Dee created a private Facebook group called LGBT Plus Goth Group. The group also, again, as I've stated before, didn't last long because Dee then deleted her profile again, and with that, the group disappeared also. On July 23rd, 2019, a YouTuber by the name of Museum Privilege created the YouTube channel, The Gothic D Archive. This is where it gets weird. On this channel, you can find pretty much all of Dee's deleted videos. Videos that she had on pretty much all of her social media, but then she deleted. When Dee got wind of this channel, she did end up calling the channel out and used words that I don't think I could say on YouTube because of the TOS. Um, the one word that I can probably say is predator and stalker, but that's as far as I'm willing to go. And fast forward to 2021, which will be January 8th, Dee uploaded a video onto her channel called Stalker. The channel that she posted this on was called Raven Lost, and the video was clearly targeted at the Gothic D archive. I get to talk about something now no matter how many times i comment on there to people who think that is me 
um, is actually not. So you obviously don't want to listen to my comments. So I'm going to tell you face to face, but video wise, face to face. And I know for a fact they're going to take this video and upload it onto their channel. Oh well, but yeah, I found out about the channel about a few months ago from a friend. That channel has been there since January. See it in my videos, and people think that it's not a fake channel. They're not seeing my videos. It's an archive channel. Well, technically, it is. It is a fake channel because it's basically me, and I'm not the owner of it. The owner of it actually lives in Italy. Could we had someone hack into it? to see who it is but all we know that he's from Italy and obviously he's a male so it's not really a surprise there so it is a fake channel they are seeing my videos and my friend Sophie who got involved before um, they were after her because she got involved and I asked her like you know is it you know if it'd be alright to create social media again because I took down all my social media because they just kept stealing my videos, even my private videos, which that's kind of illegal to do. And of course, they are a male, so they think they can do what they want because they have a dick. And I just saw my Tim the Vat. I got a rat in the garden named Tim. And so they, they think they can do what they want because they have the dick in their pants. It's really just a pecker that needs to be kicked really badly with a platform boot. I decided to create a TikTok after my friend nagged me. And after then, then I get told that that channel is now seen in my TikTok videos, which I don't know how, because considering I set my TikTok to, um, you know, you can't download um, someone's videos, so I don't know how they're getting the, my videos off TikTok, probably using a, a um, video download app or something. So what they don't realise is that what they're doing is not much a fake channel and see on my videos, but it's actually illegal to see someone's identity and videos in general, especially private ones, but what they don't realise is what they're doing is actually stalking. It's um excessive stalking. You know, so maybe you should I don't know, have a reality check or talk to a therapist or a nut job that you know, that would help n people like you who are just perverse and pathetic. You know. Gothic Tea doesn't exist anymore. That name that I created does not exist anymore because you guys ruined it. So I don't go by that name anymore. And the fact that you're still using that name from fucking, what is it? Four, like, I don't know, three, four, five years ago when all that shit started. And I bet you won't come forward. Like, you know, you take the videos off there, but you don't comment who you are. I guess you're afraid to come forward. But my advice to you is either start what you do and then take down the channel which I know you won't because you because you're a fan and fan don't, fans don't do that or you can spend the rest of your life being labelled a stalker, perverted freak so this is my message to the person behind that channel yeah bye bye fuck fuck you and this is the last I will be speaking to y'all I just changed my accent then. <laughs> Tell you all, so bye bye, peace out, get a life. If not, fuck you. Peace. So, in 2020, I managed to get back into contact with Dee again, seeing as it had actually been quite a while since I spoke to her about this or about anything else. And I just wanted to see how she was doing. Again, not trying to hurt her feelings um, because I didn't, you know want her to get upset with me or anything like that. She has a TikTok, or I think two TikToks. So when she joined TikTok, she had an account called Darkling Girl 95 and she did actually post some pretty cool and quirky videos on there. Where's my best friend? 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 We are bored with poop and booby. How rude! <laughs> and I know that she enjoyed it because the amount of positivity that she was getting was quite nice to see. But sadly, she deleted that TikTok. The reason why she deleted that TikTok is because she realised that her videos from there were then being moved over to the archive channel. After a week of 
not having TikTok, she then came back under a different username. So to me, it's quite shocking that Josh and this whole saga is still being talked about because I'm still surprised that I'm even sitting here talking about it today. So many YouTubers such as Hampo93. So what's up Hampo fans? Sorry that this is late, but you heard about the Gothic King Cobra and the Gothic D. Gothic dick. Jinx. Because in this video, we're going to talk about some gothic drama. Dude4786 and I have autism, as in EYE. What I'm going to be talking about today and giving my thoughts and two cents on is the Gothic D and King Cobra situation that happened almost three years ago. Have actually made rather long videos reviewing this entire saga. The reason I wanted to do this is because D is a friend of mine and I wanted to do everything that I could to make her feel a bit more at ease so that she can carry on through her life and not have to deal with comments because as of this day she still gets comments from trolls. What I also want people to realise is that there is a massive difference between trolling and bullying. Trolling is making little snarky comments and making jokes here and there. Bullying is wishing death upon someone, telling somebody to kill themselves, constantly targeting one specific person, making fake profiles, threatening to abuse and rape someone. I can't. My personal opinion of Josh. Don't like the guy. Never have liked the guy. I don't like his attitude toward people. He treats people like absolute dirt, including family members, i.e. his own dad. If he had just grown up and been a man and responded to Dee when she reached out to him to set everything straight, none of this would have happened. None of it would have happened and I wouldn't be sat here three years later talking about it. Treat people how you want to be treated. If you have nothing nice to say, then say nothing at all. Don't think that trolling and bullying is the same thing because it isn't. I've got nothing else to say. See you later.